stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Head to the bar. I really have a feeling Arthur might die at the end of this game. I hope not, but at the same time, he wasn't mentioned in the other one. So he probably will. Oh, it's gonna be better. Born and raised. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states they hey, can I get a drink here? Now, I'm sorry, please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. I'm get punched. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Right, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh. Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. God damn you! His voice does not fit what he looks like. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, here over there, I see him. Oh, he is. Especially drunk. Alright, let's head over this way. <laughs> it's at the alley, so let me go here. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Why thank you. <laughs> Where are they? I haven't seen him over here. Hey, hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. 
My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little bit of shit. Get going. He's coming oh, after God. us. Get back here. That little shit, I know I couldn't trust them little bastards. Where you going, you little son of a bitch? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You little bastard! I was just playing! Give me my things back. Get off me, mister! I'm a good boy! I wash! Give me my things. Mm, they're here! Bronte? At home? Where? Uh, the big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Okay. Uh. Welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. The hell he do that for? <laughs> what the hell? Why is he? He's not moving back into the middle. Alright, there we go. What the hell was that? Why he do that? <laughs> Man, listen, I am trying so hard to stop mentioning New Orleans at this point, but jeez. Alright, I, I have to live vicariously through this game. This is my New Orleans trip. <laughs> now, where? Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Shit, I forgot I had the <laughs> I had the floor. <laughs> All right, so let's go. There's Dutch and what's what's M B M B M M M M. It's Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Prepare to meet you in the park opposite of Mr. Brunt's house. Where the hell is that other? Really? Mary Beth needs to speak to you. Mary Beth. Mary Beth, Mary Beth. Who the hell is Mary? I know Mary Lennon is uh, Arthur's ex. Bo. Did I use that right? I know Bo's like ex love and like French, right? Or something like that. Let me Google it. I don't know. Don't quote me. <laughs> Open your damn eye. That boy. I heard people say it in movies. So I could be wrong. Boat, boot, no spell. I don't know, whatever. Why did I not get it on my horse? Oh, goodness. Leave me alone with these side quests. I got a boy to save. If you don't get my way. What's your problem? Oh, that he fell. <laughs> Almost there. This kind of reminds me of the of the uh, plantation house that we were just at. 
or they call it the manor, excuse me. The manor. What is that supposed to be? A bank? No. Something of oh, Saint Denis Times Tribune. So like the newspaper uh headquarters. I should have got on one of those rides when I was in New Orleans. I saw so many of them. I wanted to pair at the horse, but I wasn't sure if that was <laughs> allowed or not. Are we almost? Oh, we almost there. Okay, goody. Let me let me cross over real quick. Sorry, horsies. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Over here. Hey, which house is it? Is that the house he's in, or is it? Oh, it's this one. <laughs> oh, he had a breath. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, 
Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute.